Before we get into talking about how to find probabilities of outcomes, let's go over a few definitions. So one here is an experiment, and we basically just had another word for this earlier, a random phenomenon. So a couple of important points here is that it can be repeated and that the results are uncertain. We've talked about an example might be rolling a dice, and specifically we could think about rolling a six-sided die. And most of the time we'll be talking about a fair die that has an, an equally likely chance of landing on any side, or any other number for that matter. So we could be a bit more specific with our random phenomenon and say we're rolling a fair six-sided die just once. If we do that, we can be very clear about what are the possible outcomes. And we're gonna get all the different numbers, and sometimes we could group those with a little curly brace, and I might write them just out in number form. When I use that curly brace, I'm saying that I have a group of things. And in math, another word for a group of things is a set. And so we have a set of all the possible outcomes. There's six of them for this particular random phenomenon. And so we have a name for that. It is called the sample space. The sample space is a set or a collection. They both mean the same thing of all the possible outcomes. Here is our sample space here. The numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. There's another type of idea with probability, which is something like, I might want to think about rolling an even number. What outcomes are in that? What's interesting about an idea like this is that there is more than one way you could roll an even number. You could roll a two, four, and six are even numbers. And this little collection here with three possible outcomes, we call this an event. The pieces of events are outcomes. So we could have events like rolling an odd number or rolling a number less than five. And here's the book's definition. An event is just a collection of outcomes from a probability experiment. We could have an event like rolling at least a four and then the outcomes for that thing we could list as that collection and say, okay, what are those? Four is at least four, and anything bigger is at least four. So there's three outcomes here. It's not really important that you remember the word event and the word outcome, but it is important that you realize some things, like rolling at least a four, can happen more than one way. If any of those three things happened, we would say that this event happened, that you rolled at least a four. So here's a quick example of something the book kind of humorously calls the probability experiment of having two children. You probably don't consider having children a probability experiment, but you could. Let's look at part A. It says identify the outcomes of the probability experiment. And in this case, we want to keep in mind that one kid is going to come first and one kid's going to come second. And whether a particular gender comes first or second is going to make a different outcome. For example, we could have a boy first and a girl second, and that would be one outcome. And if we're dealing with probability, then the outcome of where you have a girl first and then a boy second, that is a different outcome. That's the outcome of having a girl then a boy. So what else could happen? We could have both be boys and both be girls. And so this collection is the answer to part A here. It's the outcomes, the possible ways that this probability experiment could play out. So the sample space is going to be just listing these in a nice group. What would my sample space look like? Maybe I'll abbreviate and use B for boy and G for girl. And I could have boy, girl, or I could have girl, boy, or I could have boy, boy, or I could have girl, girl. And just putting these four outcomes together in a nice little group here means I'm doing something fancy called giving the sample space. 
all the possible outcomes. Then part C says define the event where they're saying that event means you have one boy. Let's be very clear here. When they say one, they mean exactly one. So what is that? Boy, girl would do it. Girl, boy would do it. There's two ways we could have one boy. We could either have the boy first or the boy second. That is it. So if you want to get fancy, we can say, hey, what's this event? It's just this group of these two possible outcomes. So that's just some terminology that we're going to use a lot. We're going to talk about outcomes. We're kind of going to talk about all those outcomes grouped together. We call that the sample space. We could talk about events. In this case, we're talking about having exactly one boy. And the outcomes associated with that event are these two right here. So that's some of the basic vocabulary of probability.